Now we know that testing has a lot of standard features and steps involved in defining the quality in a product. Just like talking about faces, talking about different levels in terms of types of testing, static, dynamic, or when you talk about several techniques of the test cases, preparation, and many other things which remains the standard. But at that point of time, does that mean that no matter how your product is, what kind of background does it come from, we will use the same approach to test it? No. Let's understand more about the same today. Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and today we are talking about another principle of testing which generally deals with uh, testing different products in a different way and the principle is known as testing is context dependent. Now when you talk about this principle that is testing is context dependent that means the context of different product probably may be different. So when it comes to different products which come from a different domain specific may have a different set of audience for that or probably may have a different level of criticality or complexity involved. And thus we are talking about that the context does matter for the testing team to apply an approach to test that product. The best example to understand this principle is two different products is not tested with the same approach. When you say this, it means a lot. For example, when you're talking about a safety critical system, which is meant to be used in aviations or heavy machineries, or talking about any such thing which involves lives of human beings. So when you talk about such safety critical system, of course, that product cannot be tested how you test an e-commerce website. Now, e-commerce website, which is just a simple application for shopping, people go casually look for different products. But yes, I'm not saying that when you talk about e-commerce website, you take everything lightly. No, we are worried about the approach. The approach which you apply in these two different products is completely different as well. Now, how that approach varies from the life cycle of testing or techniques of testing or different phases, levels, does that also differ? No, it all remains the same. The planning, the test design, test analysis, test execution, effect tracking, applying the different techniques like equivalence partition, bond value analysis, white box testing, black box testing, static, dynamic, everything. It remains the same. The only difference is the approach. How much effort will you put is what we address with the help of the test approach and that will be different. In other terms, we also call test approach as test strategy. Where test strategy, we do have seven standard strategies available and you can use them as standalone or use them as combined approach to call it as your test approach for the project. Remember team, a test strategy is uniquely defined for different projects. When it comes to a product based organization, your strategy may be your test policy as well because you deal with only one product all the time. But for service based organization, your strategy will be different for different types of project. And what do you mean by different type of project? For example, you deal with aviation, you deal with banking, you deal with healthcare. Of course, you will have different strategies for different products. It has to be defined before you can get into the planning. Now, what are the strategies available with us? We have analytical approach, which is called as risk-based testing, methodical approach, model-based approach, heuristic approach, directive approach, consultative approach, and many others like that. So as we understand about these things, we generally see that there are different approaches to be applied. So when it comes to a new project, a new product type, you select a strategy from the list of available strategies and probably you either use them as standalone or you combine them together to make it as a defined approach or strategy for your project. So this is what we are talking about this principle that testing is context dependent. Your approach must be differently defined for different projects. You do not test two different applications with the same strategy or same approach. Thus, your different projects must have unique strategies for each one of them. 
So that's all from this particular episode team. Should you have anything else beyond this, feel free to comment below and let us know so that I can address your queries and answer them well. We will be getting back to you with another interesting episode soon. So stay tuned for that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.